right, hello everybody. I wanted to come to you today before we get rolling with some patience and talk to you about a very important thing that has to do with our overall long-term health. And that's whether we have anterior head syndrome or whether we're looking just like that, head right over the shoulders. So there's three main areas. This is gonna be an interactive video, all right? So this is gonna be fun, we're gonna get up, we're gonna move around, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this anterior head syndrome is gonna affect your health immediately, and we know that it's gonna be long-term as well because that's going to negatively impact how well the brain's able to communicate with everything below all of those organs. But three main things. Number one, I want you to get up out of your chair. We're gonna see how it affects our rotation left and right. So I want you to imagine your chin has a railroad track coming right out of it. And we're gonna stick that chin out on the railroad track. Turn right as far as you can. Turn left as far as you can. Now if you're like me, you're gonna notice these muscles on the side of your neck get real tight. And for me, I start getting tension at the base of my skull here, okay? So muscles are gonna lock up because they're not meant to have to hold the head up, which is about 10 pounds, at least for most people. So for me, you can see, I can't turn very far. But when my head is nice, be placed on top of my shoulders. Nice and normal there. So try that on yourself. Next thing we're gonna do is see how far we can look up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, for me, what normal is. Good. Nice extension. I got my adjustment this week, so that helps. We're gonna jut our chin out, and I'm gonna try that again. Can it do nearly as much extension with that? And I'm also feeling when I jut my chin out for more than about 30 seconds, I also get tightening of these muscles, okay? Going into the shoulders, that's gonna get much tighter. And that's our next thing, our third thing that we're gonna test. When our head goes forward, our shoulder mobility is gonna be affected. So I'm gonna show you, we should have nice, even, stress-free tension all the way up. We should be able to touch our hands and then go all the way back down. So you can see here, this is normal for me. Now I'm gonna jut my chin out and we're gonna try that again. I start getting a lot of tension right here and I can kind of push through it. That's as far as I can go when my head's all the way out. And I want you to know, look how far forward my hands have to go to even get to that point. Without my, my neck forward, I can bring my arms right back to where they should be. But when my head goes forward, it's gonna limit my shoulder motion. Now that's, that's one of the ways that we can actually have shoulder problems develop is when our neck's not functioning properly, our shoulders are gonna have to work harder, leaving us more prone to injury. And if we have this happen, this is what it's gonna look like on an x-ray. So we've got this laminated here. So you can see there's the top of the shoulders and the head is way far out in front of where it should be. And we don't want this to happen to you. We want you to look feel and function young for as long as you can. So if we find that on you, when you're a patient here, we're gonna of course adjust. We're gonna find the areas of your spine that aren't functioning right. And then we're gonna give you things to do at home, speed up your recovery, stabilize that area, and keep you looking and feeling young. So thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun with us today. Have a blessed rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Thank you.